With the process of filing out FAFSA documents for college, many students are wondering why FAFSA is so important to continuing their education. Tonight, WBKB went in-depth and found some surprising numbers. As the winter season continues, students at Alpena High School are already looking ahead to the month of May. For seniors, they will be graduating, and many of them will be heading off to college. But on a laundry list of negatives for attending college, all students usually agree on one, the cost. Counselor Mary Dowse says students are usually aware of the large cost of attending college, but says help is available. College is very expensive, and most students will end up with scholarships or loans of some sort, um, unless they're going to a community college on a two-year program, and even then many of the students need some assistance. According to U.S. News & World Report, the yearly average for tuition and fees for in-state students attending public universities is over $8,000. That's an increase of 42% since 2006. Mary agrees the best way a student can determine what method of aid is best for them is to educate themselves. Many people don't think they can afford college. Um, with student loans, you can afford college. It's a matter of how many student loans you want to pay back later. Um, and there are scholarships that are never applied for. Nationwide, more than 605 state student aid programs exist. They can consist of grants, work-study programs, and loans. Before considering any of them, Mary says the student needs to take time and review all the forms to ensure they are receiving all the financial aid they qualify for. Some students go through all of the scholarships and the application forms very quickly and don't take it serious. Others take it very seriously and are very, very detailed. And with a detailed look at the FAFSA applications, college students should be able to figure out what is their best means to pay for continuing their education. If you would like more information on FAFSA documents, you can visit www.fafsa.ed.gov.